This is an example on slide 36 of our chapter 19 PowerPoint, and the question reads, consider the combustion of propane gas, and the reaction is written on the slide right here, and it wants us to do three things. A, calculate the entropy change in the surroundings when this reaction occurs at 25 degrees Celsius, B, determine the sign of the entropy change for the system, and C, determine the sign of the entropy change for the universe universe and to determine if the reaction is spontaneous. So we're going to take one step at a time and we're going to start with A. Calculate the entropy change in the surroundings when this reaction occurs at 25 degrees Celsius. So for this we're going to be using the equation um, that is written right here. The change in entropy of our surroundings is equal to the negative um, delta H of our reaction, which has been provided in the problem, over our temperature. And temperature has to be in Kelvin. So in the problem, it states that my temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. So I'm gonna go ahead and add 273 Kelvin to that to convert it to our Kelvin temperature, which is 298K. So now we have everything that we need to plug into our equation. Remember, we're calculating the change in entropy, delta S, of our surroundings. So if we plug all of this in, we get that delta S of the surroundings is equal to negative of negative 2044 kilojoules and then on bottom 298 Kelvin. So the negative of a negative gives you a positive so therefore my answer is positive 6.86 kilojoules per Kelvin. Now typically, delta S is reported in units of joules per Kelvin. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my conversion for that. So one kilojoule is a thousand joules. Therefore, my answer is positive 6.86 times 10 to the third joules per Kelvin. So that's part one, or part A, excuse me, of our um, problem. The next step, and I'm going to go ahead and um, change our slide here. Okay, so for part B, it wants us to determine the sign of the entropy change for the system. So everything's already in the gas phase, so we can't determine it by a phase change, but we can compare the moles of reactant versus moles of product. So on our reactant side, we have six total moles of um, reactant, one mole of um, propane, five moles of oxygen, and on the product side, we have three moles CO2, four moles of water, which gives us a total of seven moles. So from reactant to product, my moles are increasing. Therefore, the delta S of the system that I'm studying is positive. <laughs> so then the last part of our question Determine the sign of the entropy change for the universe and if this reaction is spontaneous. So we're going to do this by looking at the equation. The entropy of the universe is equal to the entropy change of our system plus the entropy change of our surroundings. So we just figured out that entropy of our system is positive. And if we go back to our previous slide, we also got a positive answer for our entropy change in our surroundings, so that's also positive. And since um, 
the universe is constantly going towards an increase in entropy, and both our system and surroundings have increasing entropy, that means that this reaction is spontaneous. So if we have a positive delta S of our universe, that means reaction is spontaneous. And that's it for this example.